In 2018, the inheritors of John Cockerell continued to make progress. A new CEO was appointed, the group's international training center is fully operational, and the John Cockerell Foundation has come into being. In 2018, the group was more than ever setting out to find new solutions to respond to the needs of our times by installing three pilot projects around the site of its headquarters, which demonstrate its entrepreneurial and technological character. In 2018, to complete the tried and tested responses which have already built the group's reputation, advances were numerous. Advances in the domain of access to cleaner energy, advances in the domain of preserving the environment, advances in the domain of greener mobility, advances in the domain of protection threats and insecurity, advances for cleaner and more responsible production infrastructures. In 2018, the group continues to strengthen its international coverage through opening new premises, through agreements and partnerships, and through new realizations. Here are a few of them. In Ivory Coast, signing of a first significant infrastructures order and a protocol agreement to generate more. In Kenya, creation of a new entity specializing in industrial air filtration solutions and development of projects for access to water. Still in Kenya, the John Cockerill Foundation assisting an orphanage by giving it easier access to energy. In Ghana, writing of an order for five boilers. In Tunisia, delivery of a first DE600 locomotive and the sale of 20 locomotives for the transport of phosphates. In Morocco, the supply of 12 air treatment units. Installation of a first flow battery within a solar park. In Dubai, order of a thermosolar receiver for the Dewa power plant. In Saudi Arabia, continuation of the execution of the Jason project. In the United Arab Emirates, order for two boilers and order for the exchangers for the Fujairah power plant. In Indonesia, demonstration of the performance of the Cockerill 3105 turret mounted on a PT Pindad medium tank. In Vietnam, bringing into service of a new coating system on a galvanizing line. Signature of an order for surface treatment line. In Burma, order for a galvanizing line and an organic coating line. Signature of a collaboration agreement with Japanese company SPCO for the supply of steel making equipment. In China, modernization of a galvanizing line for aluminium coating realization of the pickling section on the stainless steel line, and order for an acid regeneration installation. Signature of a joint venture with Tempro for surface treatment installations and with SJH for the supply of alkaline electrolysis units. In Bangladesh, an order to retube two Hitachi boilers. In India, taking off one of the largest orders in our history at Tata Steel two galvanizing lines and a continuous annealing line. Opening of a new agency in New Caledonia for services to the nickel industry. In the United States, demonstration of the performance of the medium caliber Cockerill 3030 crater turret in front of the American army. Taking of a furnace order. In Canada, two orders for the city of Quebec, a stripping unit and a deodorization unit. In Panama and in Ecuador, signatures of new contracts in rail and urban transport, participation in the extension of the Santo Domingo Metro. In Brazil, first order for the repair of wind turbine blades. In Belgium, contract for the maintenance of turbines at the dual power plant. At Serein, inauguration of Miris, the largest installation in Europe for the storage of energy. Launch of hydrogen activities with the airport project for greener mobility at Liège Airport. Partnerships with two major European players for the supply of water treatment products. 
Orders taken in the domain of drinking water and for water treatment stations. Participation in a medics project for the treatment of medical polluting microbes coming out of hospitals. Contract for the modernization of 6x6 Pandour of the Belgian army. Contract for the renovation of the Mont Saint Dam, for the locks of the Charleroi Brussels Canal, for a lock in the north of France, and for the Rhone Dam. Belgium and France achieved the threshold of 20 euros a month. In France, the first resident course members at the Campus Coqueril installations, the group's international training center. First Coqueril Firepower Symposium organized alongside the Eurosat Defense Fair in Paris. The firing demonstration with a whole range of cockerel turrets made a great impression before delegations of clients and journalists from across the world. First contract for maintenance simulators. Modernization of and orders for thermal and surface treatment lines. Joint research into the treatment of household waste and cleansing in the Paris region with the Cometa project. And first order taken in the process water domain. In Alsace, acquisition of T2I, a company specializing in industrial maintenance. Signature of a first order for the Super Phoenix nuclear dismantling project. In Spain, setting up of a subsidiary with a view towards a medium caliber turret program. In Russia, orders taken for two horizontal boilers. In Armenia, Germany and Poland, modernization of a large volume of industrial equipment. In Turkey, startup of a new steel galvanizing line manufactured for Tatmetal. 2018 closed with many successes and much promise, and with new challenges too. To take this up and even better respond to the needs of our times, CMI is becoming John Cockerell.